And welcome back, everybody, once again to Into Obscurity. I am TJ the Obscure here with you here at the Monument area. Last episode, we managed to defeat the Haunted Hallways after... I don't even know how many times... How many times have I died? I've died eight times in this map already. Wow, okay. Uh, yeah, I've already taken the time to somewhat get prepared... Although, there are some hidden items around here. I think we'll probably want to collect those before we head down below. And a good place to start, I think, is over in this direction. I think we should be able to make this jump at least. I haven't actually tested any of this kind of stuff out. So, we'll, uh, we'll see how easy it is to actually get around this area. Down below, down below. There's the little... Right there, yeah, yeah, we can do that. All right, what do we have? We have protection two, fire protection two, unbreaking one gives us health, uh, armor toughness, some knockback resistance, all of that lovely stuff. Oh, and some golden apples as well. Okay, let's get rid of you. I don't think we need you. And now we need to go around to the other side. Uh, let's see here. It's gonna be the easy way to do so. Want to bridge along here. Yeah, I mean, this kind of stuff was in, like, old Vex maps, where you'd have items hidden in not-so-friendly places, and I I always kind of liked that, that the player had to really uh, explore quite a bit and whatnot. Although it is kind of a pain. Definitely kind of a pain to do so. Something like that. Oh, you know what? This is not going to work. Not going to work. We have to go around every single pillar. I hadn't really thought about that. <laughs> um, in which case, let's go ahead and go back up top, shall we? Oh man, this area was so... Oh, that was kind of scary. This area was so frustrating to make. Um, again, I mainly made it with MC Edit, but I also was playing around with Voxel Sniper at the same time. Trying to get familiar with some of those... Uh, controls and whatnot, and I took a long time just to shape the volcano, and I think that I originally made a different dungeon in the volcano and then decided to scrap it, and it was more, um, you know, it wasn't vertical, it was, it was, I think there were still, no, I think there were still walkways, but I, I, I can't really remember all that well, but, uh, yeah, there's also... Oh, no, that's in the updated version. There's, like, a hidden teleporter back there that's not actually going to be... Okay. But let's go ahead and bridge over in this direction. Uh, and I wanted to make use more of the stuff down below, but didn't really end up doing anything with that. A lot of the lava that you see is actually accidental. I think I, I put like a pillar of lava in, but then I kind of liked the way that it looked. <laughs> so, so we went with it. Um, and I stuck with the whole pillar theme throughout. Oh, and there's glass too, huh? Yeah, there's glass in front of the lava. Uh, I, I don't know. A lot of the map is me just kind of experimenting with things and I, I know that that's not a good way to go about creating a map that it's much better to have a plan in mind but again this was me trying to figure things out how to get all these stupid map making programs and commands to work and whatnot so it's all it's all very messy you know I have um, there's the nether rack fences there I don't know, it just looked too plain, and I thought, you know, I wanted something, like, hanging down from it, uh, but not full blocks, and you're kind of limited, that's what you're trying to do, um, I think I originally had vines there, but I didn't like the way that the green vines looked in this area, and I like the way that they look can't really see their color all that well. <laughs> I, the way that I was imagining it in my mind is like it's supposed to be kind of like a red moss, like a blood moss that's that's grown down and around. That's, that's very generous. Sharpness 2. 
Fight one. Yes. Definitely want that. Um, protection three. Yeah, I think we want that as well. Right. Now we have full health and with the boots, so they cancel each other out. And that's not even all there is to this area. There's still, still a few more hidden items around. Uh, what else? What else? I'm actually pretty pleased with the way the volcano turned out. It's gigantic, and honestly, it doesn't really fit in this area that I've made. <laughs> um, but by itself, I think it. I think it looks pretty good. Just a just a simple volcano, though. We go up now, up, up, and away. Hopefully, we have enough blocks. I guess we do have wood to make it up there. Uh, but overall, I'm I'm pretty pleased. I think the the just straight up circular area looks very artificial, and again, that's why it kind of reminds me of uh, old maps. Uh, this could be like straight out of a super hostile intersection or something. But yeah, let's go ahead and do planks so that we can get our way up here. Oh, what else? What else? It took me a long time to figure out how to get the lava down. Um, there are some pretty messy areas to it. I think you can kind of see that the lava wasn't actually placed correctly over there. Oh, we have arrived at our destination. We're gonna have so many, so many golden apples. It's not even funny. And please don't burn on me. There are wood planks, although fire spread is not on in this map. Uh, which is why we have the flames on the coal blocks. Going, I have a feeling we're probably going to need a lot more wood. Uh, KBT started the map and said that he's finding him, he's having to grind a lot. Which, um, I could see that at the very beginning, I think, but... Look, it's a float, it's a floating mushroom. Okay. There's lots of floating mushrooms. <laughs> I I had trouble placing certain types of blocks, uh, namely like plant life, like vines, mushrooms, stuff like that. I was just using world edit, uh, a sphere command, but you end up with stuff like like that or or floating vines. I'm not entirely sure the best way to place those. Got tons of coal, tons of wood if you need it, although again, I kind of gave up on trying to distribute loot throughout areas and decided to simply give players a bunch of loot at each base in between areas. Um, I, I'm not entirely sure. I, I did that, I think, mainly out of convenience. Honest. Okay, we should have a single inner pearl in here. Lots of Lots of good stuff, though. Probably go ahead and throw up, uh, throw these guys there. This axe is absolutely amazing. We have six stone bricks. We shall take those. Uh, but we want the ender pearl, that's for sure. Okay. You, and we keep going around the center. Uh, so yeah, I think that may require some grinding there at the very beginning, but for the most part, I, th I give the player tons of equipment because I kind of expected people to die a lot. And, and it's not like, like super powerful equipment. There, there are very few really powerful items in the map and all of the powerful items in the second area we ended up losing, <laughs> losing to the void or to the despawn timer. And you know, there's there's definitely some some really good gear in the third area. We got those, and we got the axe. There's some decent gear here. Clearly, it has a speed boost too. Uh, and there's some pretty good gear in the final area as well. Although uh, the the gear in the final area you actually have to fight for. Like I mean, in the third area we had to fight for fight for the boots, and we had to fight for the axe as well. Um, but like this gear here you just mainly more about exploring right 
Okay, and uh, I know like this kind of messy block combination is something you don't want to do too much of, and yet here we have an entire area about it, uh, area made out of it. Although it is kind of blended in, where I think the very bottom is obsidian, and then it slowly kind of blends in the uh, the andesite. Oh, that's not andesite. The diorite and the cobble. Very very powerful potion. Um. We may want to save that, either for the bottom of this area, or for the final area. Not entirely sure. So, you know, I, I feel like my commentary on the areas has been kind of lackluster, and that's because I don't really have much to say about them. Like, why did I do certain things? I have no freaking idea. I was, I was like, what does this command do? <laughs> And what happens if we do that? And, oh, let's put that there. And I'm going to build a giant volcano. Why? I have no idea, but I'm just going to do it. Uh, and, you know, I've, I've tested this area a few times. And I I definitely need to make some, some additional changes to it. I'm really not pleased with the difficulty level for most of the dungeon. Although the ending is hard. Um... But I think I think I do want to make some changes to it, and probably what I should have done. You'll see whenever we get in there. Dang man, I'm just having to use all the wood, all the wood. We're gonna need wood to get back to. So I'm gonna make a full stack. But I'll, I'll explain what I what I what I think I'm gonna do in the next update. Or interpol. These are very rare in the map. Having a couple of them like that is definitely gonna be useful. And let's just go ahead and bridge over there. I think we should be able to make it most of the way. But I don't know. Maybe maybe the, uh, the nether brick fences don't look as bad as I think they do. I wish we had more vine-like options that weren't just vines. I think a red moss would look pretty cool. Uh, or even just different colors of, like, a moss-type block. Yellow moss, red moss, blue moss. Give the plant life a bit more, more variety, a bit more color. Uh, I don't know about that. I'm a little, a little skeptical there that we'll actually make that jump. Should do just fine here, I imagine. Bum, bum, bum. Whee! Okay, and like I said, I've already made some changes to this area. I just need to go back and make some additional changes. What do we want to do? I think I need to put some stuff in my ender chest so that if we happen to lose this, don't lose everything. Golden apples. I think I want the ender pearls on me. And I think I want... I want the sword for now. Oh man, do we want that? Do we want that? I think I think maybe we do want that. Uh, see how it goes, I suppose. That should be good for now. Let's go ahead and grab a bunch more blocks. Oh, we don't probably shouldn't need too many too many blocks in this area. We do need wood now. I think otherwise we're. Good to go, perhaps. I'm also, I, I put way too much knockback resistance in the game. We have 20%, 10% is 30% knockback resistance. Uh, I guess that's not, that's not too much. Oh, I have a power three bow, section three leggings, section two diamond, diamond helmet, efficiency three. We have much, much more powerful gear than we had in the previous area, even though this area, I think, is probably on the easier side. Oh, when you put yourself out with fire, it actually uses up the water. That's pretty cool. So this is all changed. Update. And honestly, we could... In fact, I'm regretting putting these enderpearls in here. We could just enderpearl straight down to the bottom, although it's pretty risky to do. I think if you were to enderpearl... Um, off to kind of the side, like over there. You probably do it. Oh gosh, that was scary. 
But, uh... Yeah, let's go ahead and get to it, then. And overall, I'm pretty happy with the way that... This area looks. I think it looks pretty cool. Maybe a little messy. And the floating lava could definitely become problematic. If it updates. But I've never actually had any lava update on me. Every time I've played this area, so... We should be okay. I <laughs> Again, this is me. Um, just doing silly things. I gave the creepers... Pretty cool. I gave the creepers, um, elytras. <laughs> I just, because I, th I thought it would be cool, and you have, like, creepers that are flying across the area. And overall, I like the concept, um, but given the narrow walkways, most of them just tend to fall off. Never really become a, a real threat. Uh, do that. We got Mr. Gast. Fall off there, guy. Not be good. Come back, Mr. Blaze. You are taken care of. Let's go ahead and snipe the archer. I like that guy hanging out in the lava over there. See, so that that was kind of the idea, is that the creepers will fall down to lower levels, and you'll potentially have more things that you have to deal with. We're going to spawn before we get over there. Try uh, nonetheless. Nope, we got it. We're good. We're good. I, I definitely need to need to change those creepers ever so slightly. I was thinking of increasing the spawn range on the spawners so that you have creepers, maybe also the follow distance, so that you have creepers. Um, uh, if you leave a spawner behind, potentially they'll spawn and fall down on you. I don't know if that would work very well. Or just a bunch of creepers that spawn before you get low enough, and then you have just all these random creepers hanging around. What are you doing over there, guy? You fell down there. I feel like the archers are maybe a little too easy. Knocked off there, guy. There we go. Still within range of the magma cube spawner. Oh gosh, go away. I'm pretty sure there's stuff behind me. Not sure where that archer went to. I think he may have been below us. Oh. Interesting. I just said that nothing had ever updated. I wonder how that updated. Oh, a, a blaze fireball. I, I was... My best guess at this point. Okay, let's just go ahead and take a speed potion so that we can fit this guy our inventory, and we can actually just switch those out. Switch to the golden carrots for now. This has additional knockback resistance and a little health. Well, Again, I've never had the lava update, so I'm kind of curious to see exactly how that's going to affect gameplay. I don't think it'll affect it too much. Take you out. Oh, gosh. Oh, and they're flying. And they're flying. All the creepers are flying. But you can definitely tell this is significantly easier than the previous area. Much less intense. I think if you were to try... Oh gosh, I thought I had already made this one. I think if you were to... Uh, try to speed through it, it would be difficult. You could potentially... Just... Fall all the way down. Especially if you have that fire resistance from the second area. You could jump straight in the lava if you wanted to. Do something like that. Destroy. We have a trap here. It can actually be kind of deadly. And we need to make sure we have room in our inventory to collect things. I probably have too many potions on me, to be honest. Let's stick a couple of those guys up. Let's refresh our arrows. And blocks as well. I want to activate these spawners first. This could probably use a little bit of speed. I think. 
Got it. Oh, Ender Pearls. Ender Pearls on the bar. Definitely Ender Pearls on the bar. Okay, uh, that, that, and we've got some TNT coming down. Ooh, ooh. Interesting. Okay, we got some diamond pantalones. We got some fire resistance. And it gives you wither 2 and blindness. Really? Did I put that in the game? I don't think that's worth it. Although it could come in handy. Potentially. And you are dead. And you are dead, Mr. Creeper. Activate the uh, Skelly Spawner. Although it looks like it may have already been activated. Gosh, I'm moving too fast for my own good. You! Uh, but oh, I, I was going to say that the change that I was thinking of making is instead of just having this be walkways in the volcano, I should have certain walkways going into hallways, like into the walls, because it's actually pretty thick. I think we would have the space to do that. It would increase the uh, the length. Lois, the length of the dungeon, which I do feel like it's a little short. And we could do some different things in the hallways compared to the walkways. Well, I think it's a pretty solid idea. Let's just launch you guys off. One, two, three. A punch bow really kind of makes this area a joke, though. If you have any kind of punch, it's just launch guys off the edge. Uh, oh gosh. Hey, hey, that's not cool. Um, let's see here, let's do that. I should probably have gone after the archer first and foremost, because I'm pretty sure they do have... Man, okay, pretty sure they do have punch on their bows, although we have tons of knockback resistance at this point. Lots of golden apples, instant health too. Definitely want that guy. Okay, so here's that lava. We could even potentially ride the lava all the way down, now that it's updated. That... Oh, I think this is where maybe the TNT fell down? Archer up there, I'm not really sure what happened here. Either that or a gas ball? Um, but we've almost reached the end of the walkways. Where's he at, man? Do not see you, guy. Off the creeper spawner. So let's try not to trigger. I don't think there's a chest or anything over there. Not to trigger it. And even without the punch, these guys are not too difficult. I don't know, it just feels it just feels too easy to me. But again, that's just the beginning. The the ending I don't think I've ever successfully beat. Actually, although I didn't I didn't really play it with proper gear. Want that I don't think we need the sword. I guess we can take it anyways. So at this point, you're out of walkway. And there are different options that you can take. I see a chest over there. I don't remember putting that chest there, but maybe that's where we should be heading. Uh, there are different options that you can take as far as how to get down, but there are plenty of different routes to go. Where's this gas step? Uh, first of all, something like that. Silent blazes, that's so mean. Why would I do that? Not no. I have an archer over here. There's various platforms. There's also little individual blocks that you can uh, that you can hop on. Overall, it shouldn't be too complicated to get down. 
Hey, didn't I hit you, guy? I hit you now. Um, yeah, and clearly the loot, the loot I did not really think through very, very well. Go ahead and put up all the diamond stuff, shall we? We want the golden carrots. At this point, it may be smart to hop over here to one of these islands I, I want to try to do. That way we're out of range of a lot of this stuff. Uh, and can kind of attack the area strategically. That was my other thought with the creepers, is that a lot of them would float down to the bottom, so you would have all these charged creepers waiting for you, potentially. Um, let's go ahead and... over here so that we can... Start taking out these spawners. Uh, let's backtrack. Kill Mr. Ghast. Oh, there's multiple ghasts. I think I'm in lava. I'm in. I'm definitely in lava. Definitely in lava. Hear that? Gosh, dang, you guys spawn quickly. Did I? Did I put increased timers on them? Notice we have access to iron now. One thing that we could do is just go ahead and leave the area, grab some water, and come back with a water bucket. Uh, might actually backfire. I think I haven't really tried here. Okay. Yeah, spawner over there. We don't want to get too close because there's pigmen spawners hidden in the walls. Go ahead and set off some of these spawners. Oh, he fell right in the lava. Very nice. Oh. I know I know where those gas are. Uh go up. And I suppose that works, maybe, kinda sort of. Um oh you know what I just realized? The creepers the creepers have fire resistance. And there's that dumb mechanic now, I'm really not a fan of this mechanic, where whenever the creepers explode, if they have potion effects, they'll, they'll leave lingering potions. But technically, and it's, it's lengthy fire resist too, I would say it's probably like 5 or 10 minutes, at least. So, that means that you could get really lengthy fire resist potion that would make this area a piece of cake. Um, can we reach that? Quite. Seem like it at least. Do that. See Mr. Pigman there. Over here and take out the other archer spawner. Quickly. That's a big... Big ma magma cube. I see the other archer. There. But yeah, just a lot of flaws, I think, with the design decisions that I made here. But, you know, my first map. Maybe my only map, but... It's my first map, so... I could go straight after the wool there, if we wanted to. I think I want to do, actually. Come here, Mr. Cooper. Yo! One, and two, three, and four. But yeah, if we were to get that potion there, it would make things very, very easy. Very, very easy indeed. Go away, go away, everybody. Uh, oh, who's shooting me? Where are you at there, guy? I think I know where they are. Okay. Well, let's focus on grabbing the wool, shall we? Knock everybody in the lava. Don't know where you are, Mr. Blaze. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Yep, play ping pong with Mr. Pigman. Ping pong with Mr. Pigman. I like the sound of that. 
and we have a skelly spawner up above. That's the end of that. E more blocks. Okay. Easy enough, easy enough. Now we simply have to grab the wool. Oh gosh, I went a little too high there, didn't I? Um, go ahead and do that. Another one. Get up and out, get up and out, get up and out. Ooh, okay. That was close. That was very, very close indeed. Stop standing in the fire, guys. Stop standing in the fire. Alright, there's a large creeper up there. And take him out while we can. Particles, you're getting in my way, people. Oh, we're still standing in fire. Oh man, our, our armor's getting a little low there, isn't it? Uh, okay. And we're getting low on blocks, too. I think I have some in my poker box, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go ahead and get back to full health. Jump right in the lava. Well done, guy. Well done. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's just go ahead and do that. Hey! 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 I didn't say you could do that. That's not nice. Definitely went too high here, though. Okay, let's just do that, shall we? Ooh, okay. Hopefully those don't spawn on us. In fact, we should just go ahead and take them out. Oh, we can. Like a so. They're gonna lob in the center of the area. That's right, there's no actual wool in here. I was kind of thinking... Oh, those are only for 10 minutes, huh? Man. I mean, for 10 seconds. I thought they were longer than that. Okay, well. I I don't know how I feel about my decisions as far as the fire resistance goes. I thought they were for a minute for some reason. Um, can we just get away from here quickly? Or not, or not, or not. Okay, well then, you know what we're gonna do? Oh yeah, we're gonna do that. Gosh dang it, man. There goes both of my inner pearls. Fantastic, fantastic. Uh, okay, well if we take that, and I wonder if we take... Maybe we just want to take that guy. Honestly, we may want to switch out to our... To our diamond pants, or at least have them handy here. Don't go in the lava. It's you. Oh, hey, look! It's an ender portal. There's another thing that I hadn't really considered. <laughs> I wonder, I mean, there's no nether here, so, um, oh gosh, okay. It'll, it'll just take us to normal nether re uh, generation, I think. Alright. Well. I guess it's now or never. Um, let's go ahead and take this guy. I, yeah, again, I don't think I've ever pulled this off before, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, no, I, that, that potion sucks. I don't know what I was thinking there. All right, let's get down, shall we? I forget where exactly we're going. Oh, 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 okay. Well, that was not good. That was definitely not good. Um, all right, well, I totally forgot that there's stuff down here, I guess. I forgot to grab more blocks, too. Alright. Uh, oh, gosh. We need to eat. Desperately, desperately need to eat. Oh, 
Oh man, okay. Um Wow. Okay. All that stuff had spawned down there. Oh, and we're all the way back here. Are you serious? Gosh dang it. <laughs> I had I never set my spawn. Well, oh man, doing that again without that gear is going to be it's going to be pretty tough. Although <clears throat> what we can do is simply drop down onto the wool box and dig inside. We do it quick enough that is. So I'll uh I don't have any food either, do we? What do I have in my inner chest? Okay, we have 12 golden apples. That. We have that. I want that, I think. I'll, uh... I'll see you guys back over there. out for holes in the walkway so i didn't have any levels uh so i was unable to do any enchanting which means our gear is significantly worse than it was the first time around but we took out all the spawners on top there's not going to be a bunch of mobs down in the lava area itself so we should be able to just go down and dig through is my hope uh, nope i don't think we need you but we'll see we'll see how it goes um, nope, I don't want you around, Mr. Gast. Uh, we have no feather falling either, so jumping down is going to do a bit more damage. Did before. I think we'll still make it safely. Jumpity jump jump. Try to follow roughly the same path that we did before. That may not be... Smart. Let's do that. Regen some health. <clears throat> Let me get too close here. Otherwise, we're going to start spawning stuff. Ooh, man. We've really, uh, really done a number to this area, I must say. And I have a rather slow pick. Oh, I have invisibility, at least, from the haunted hallways. That's helpful. Sure, we'll take that. Okay, jump, jumpity jump jump, let's go ahead and eat an apple, let's take some regen as well, oh yeah, yeah, right on my head, right on my head, let's get over here and get down, it seems like things are already spawning, but can we just block off, we should be okay, just dig straight down, dig straight down, so, yeah, there's there's definitely some changes I need to make to this area. I'm not sure exactly what I want to change or if it's even worth changing. I could definitely see some people rage quitting at this point. Um, as long as you go down straight through the center, you land on top of the wool box, so it's not too bad. We just, we just got a little unlucky there by getting knocked off. So quickly... And once you're down in the lava, it's probably best to just swim up and try to get out of there rather than going after the wool itself. Alright, red wool has been gotten and we have some fire resistance potions now. There is the chest down below. If I think if, if I had some gravel, I would probably go after it, although it's just a... Uh, it's just a... Which we call it a pick. So nothing. Oh wait, lava. Do not like you. Good. No, we are not good. We are not good. Uh, let's take some regen. Oh, you know what I could take? I could take some fire resistance too. I think I'm gonna hold off on that. Oh, it's so dark. It's so dark, you guys. One more. One more. Should be. Good to go. Some more obsidian to dig through. Just what I was hoping for. Fantastic. Fantastic. And that's why using a water bucket in here may actually make things more annoying because you're going to end up with a bunch of obsidian that you have to dig through. Man, those, uh... 
Those spawners spawn rather quickly, don't they? It sounds totally insane down there. Come on. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. I can't see anything, so I don't know how close I am. But, honestly, I don't think there's any bedrock. Good, we're good. Now we just need to make our escape, which is in... Oh, gosh. Um, Alright, eat all the apples. Eat all the apples. Eat all the apples. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, let's see here. What do I want to do here exactly? Alright. That maybe will help a little bit. Let's put a put a ceiling on our on ourselves. Go away, Mr. Gast. Alright, you're dead. Uh we got the magma cubes, but it shouldn't cause us too many issues, I don't think. Hey, who's shooting at me? Pick up the bow on the way, maybe, perhaps, or the blaze. Ooh, okay, okay, we have officially made it out of Area 4, only one death. Again, I think it's too easy, minus, or two, huh, that's what I gave them. Minus the, uh, oh gosh. Some llamas, llamas, llamas are here to attack. Right, we can, oh no, I didn't want to do that. I guess we can do that. There's not a teleporter back, though. There is in the updated version. But, uh, I guess I'll just have to make my way... Make my way down, or maybe I'll update the newer version. Although there's no real changes to the final area, so... Anyways, you guys, we found some pretty amazing items this episode, and then proceeded to lose all of them, so that's... that's fantastic. But we're about to head into the fifth and final area of the map. It's a rather long area filled with traps and all kinds of nastiness. I was hoping to save those ender pearls for this final area, but I don't think that's, you know, we, we clearly went through those. <laughs> Just getting out of the lava, too. Um, oh, we have another diamond helmet. Good. Good to know. But, uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for me for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.